Hey there, fellow VR gamers. Today I'm stepping into a virtual world of a medieval VR. A retro shooter that got rave reviews when it first hit the PC scene. It's now time to dive into this nostalgic realm on MetaQuest 2, so buckle up and let's see if this boomer shooter is worth your time and money. The medieval VR is all about taking on the role of a champion, once branded a heretic, who's been chosen to reclaim sacred weapons and ancient lands. With seven unique episodes, a plethora of magical weapons, and adaptive enemy AI, the game promises an epic experience reminiscent of golden PC age classics like Doom and Heretic. Jumping into the game, I found the basic gameplay straightforward. Strafe, shoot like crazy, and annihilate your foes. There's a massive variety of weapons, each of which can be overcharged with souls of the dead. However, playing on medium difficulty, I never felt the need to swap out long-range weapons for their melee counterparts. The enemy AI is aggressive, hunting you down on land, sea, and air with a healthy variety of adversaries that change throughout the episodes. Despite the challenges though, I found myself feeling that the gameplay didn't offer anything uniquely tailored to VR. As someone who isn't a diehard fan of retro graphics, I struggled with the visuals in Medieval. The low res textures and dark environments made it difficult to spot doorways, leaving me stuck more than once because I simply didn't see the exit. Although the game is built on Unreal Engine 4, the visuals are intentionally retro, which might be a hit for some, but missed the mark for me. While a medieval VR doesn't tick all the boxes for me, its audio department does deliver. The energetic soundtrack by Andrew Holschult sets the mood for each episode, and the sound effects add immersion to the gameplay. Together, the music and the sound effects really do a great job of keeping things pumping. A medieval runs smoothly with a silky frame rate, but I encountered a few technical issues during my playthrough. Walls would occasionally disappear depending on my viewpoint, leading to some disorienting moments. While it didn't ruin the overall experience, those little glitches were a little bit distracting. The game's main replayability factor seems to be its appeal to speedrunners. Each time you complete a level, you're shown a part time and your own completion time. However, as someone who isn't a speedrunner, the idea of replaying levels that I already found tedious just to shave off some time didn't really entice me. But if you're into speedrunning, a medieval might offer you a worthy challenge. In conclusion, and please remember this is an impressions video, not a review, I've only played a portion of the game, a medieval VR undoubtedly caters to fans of the retro shooter genre. With a multitude of content, sprawling levels, and great soundtrack, there's plenty for enthusiasts to love. So if you're a diehard fan of a genre, a medieval might be right up your alley. For me, however, the game's visuals and lack of VR-specific features made it feel more like a classic PC game projected all around me rather than an immersive VR experience. So although I appreciate what it's trying to do and I appreciate that some people might be into this, I bid farewell to a medieval VR, a valiant effort that just didn't quite hit the mark for me. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, remember to give us a like. If you want more from our channel, remember to give us a subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day. Happy gaming, everyone.